All right, guys, I have lost one of my AirPods. Uh, this happened yesterday. I was going to the gym. I have no idea where this guy went, but uh, the AirPods 2 case, it opens very easily, okay? AirPods 1, it doesn't open that easily. No matter how hard I shake it, it doesn't open. But this guy, this guy loves to, look at that, look. All right, so basically I lost one of these guys. Out of every crappy situation, there's always something good that can happen out of it. That's why for me, when I realized I lost one of my AirPods, normally old Brian Jung would have just been so upset, you know, realizing how much these are and I just lost one and, and now I can only have noise canceling in one ear and, and now I have to go back to, you know, entrepreneurship and the other, it, it just, I was upset, but I realized, you know, take, take a breath. Not all situations are actually bad. There are always something good that can come out of a bad situation. With regards to losing one of my AirPods, I realized, hey, I think I can make a YouTube video on this. So what we're gonna do in today's video is actually go over exactly how I'm gonna get my lost AirPod back using credit cards. So what I'm gonna do is just go through more of the popular questions that I know a lot of people may have. This is the first time I'm personally using this service and I, I'm really curious to see if they will cover a lost item like this. I don't know if this falls under the rule, but I've heard from other bloggers, YouTubers, that they are very, very flexible in terms of how this program works. Now this doesn't mean go out, lose an item, and then you know have them reimburse you for that amount and then maybe find that item late. Please don't do that. You're gonna ruin this for, for the rest of us. If you actually have lost your item like I have in this situation, then I would say go ahead and make sure you use the card's full benefits. We're paying the annual fee of these cards and a lot of people don't know the full benefit. That's one of the benefits of carrying a high premium luxury card. For anyone who doesn't know, the Platinum card has an annual fee of $550. If you guys get the business version of this, which I also have, it's almost $600 at $595 a year to hold this card. So. Might as well see if I can get my money's back worth. If I can recover, you know, $250 worth of AirPods that I lost accidentally, then I think that's a pretty good ROI for the card that I may have. Now, going back to my phone, there are a couple ways for me to file this claim. I can call the number that they have listed or I can go online to start a claim. I'm actually gonna do this on the phone and just be able to record my, my encounter with them and just see how it is. Let's go ahead and call the people at American Express and just just see if they will, what they'll do. 1-800-322-1277. Thank you for calling Amex Assurance Company. To hang documents to men, press two. For all other inquiries, press three. Para Español, presione cuatro. I was not paying attention to that. Uh, Again, for options on how to send claim documents to us, press one. I'm gonna press zero. Usually I press zero if I don't know what, it, what to press. Again, for our document upload. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative for assistance. Sweet. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. Uh, uh, my name is Brian. I'm a American Express Platinum card holder. And I was curious to, to see what the uh, purchase protection details were. Um, I recently lost a pair of AirPods that I purchased on this card. Um, like a couple months ago, and I, I wasn't sure exactly how to go about the process. I purchased these, yeah, I purchased these on November 13, and I purchased them with my MacBook Pro, so it should be like a, a $4,000 order to Apple in the month of uh, November 13. There should be an AirPods order either with that or separately. Okay, so yeah, it must have processed it together. So I, I think I went to rugby practice. I'm assuming it, it, it fell out somewhere there. Um, I checked my home and I checked pretty much everywhere. And then I was going to the gym yesterday and I couldn't find them. Okay, thank you. I also know there are some privacy laws where like you can't record someone without them knowing. So I probably won't put too much of whoever's helping me out today in the video or I might just mask her like voice like they do in like those Korean interviews. But right now I am on hold and they're just asking me for some simple information regarding when I purchase this item. I guess they can also see when I purchase it on their end. I told them I wanted communication over email just because if they call me, 
I usually don't pick up calls that I get from random numbers uh, just because a lot of them are either scam calls or just or, or, or they're just trying to sell me on something. So I'd rather get it on email. That way I can record myself and follow up with it. But I am on a hold still. Uh, process seems pretty seamless right now at this point. I'm, I'm really curious to see how easy it is to get approved for the reimbursement for a lost item. I am very hopeful of this whole situation just because I've heard from multiple sources that American Express just... They're just good with customer support. You know, they're just good. So. Okay, that's excellent. So, uh, thank you for calling on an insurance company, and we're here if you're ready to have a nice day. All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. Burgle Gate. All right. So, guys, that that was that was pretty much the process right there, I guess. Um, I called them. There's a, there's a number that you call specifically for the American Express uh, Platinum card. I guess the Platinum and the Business Platinum both have um, the eligibility to call this specific number, I was very worried because on their FAQ, it actually says it's 120 days, but I, I, I feel like as a YouTuber, I should know this because I said this in one of my videos, they reduced the days down to 90. But if I purchased it before January 1st, I'd still get the 120 day protection. So what I'm gonna do now is just wait the 24 hours to 48 hour period. I'm gonna get that email and see whether or not that claim was successful. If it was, I'll be really excited and I'll be reporting back to you guys on what the final answer is. So guys, it is Thursday now. It's actually been about, I would say, maybe five days, maybe a week since I last spoke to that American Express representative and they were actually able to approve me for the reimbursement of my lost item. So really the biggest takeaway from this video is if you do lose an item, if your item becomes damaged or lost in any way, make sure you guys understand the benefit of your credit card. If I had put my AirPods purchase on a Discover card, on a Chase Freedom card, or a beginner, just maybe an Uber Barclays card, or just any beginner card, I, I wouldn't have gotten the same experience. I wouldn't have been able to get my AirPod reimbursement back. Luckily, because I have this back on my statement, I can go out and buy a new pair that is covered by American Express. And knowing that some of these cards do have high annual fees, it's perks like this that really justify the cost of owning some of these cards. The Business Platinum card has really been an incredible card for me. Not just that, but really American Express service in whole. I really recommend them. It, the process was very simple. I just called them, I followed them up, I sent them an item receipt on my email I submitted that online and I just got my response back less than a week later so guys if you are interested at all in any of these cards or if you're trying to learn more about it I have unboxing videos on the platinum card I have uh, review videos on credit cards and really on this channel I talk about the benefits of these credit cards that often people will overlook so if you do own these credit cards don't forget that you do have purchase protection if in case you lose it maybe a month or two after you are covered by some of these credit card issuers now if you guys are interested at all in a applying for any of these credit cards, I do have affiliate links down below. There's no obligation to use any of these links, but if you guys do want to support the channel, if you guys found any type of value and you guys want to give back in any way, that is a completely free way for you guys to do that without losing anything. And another way you guys can easily support the channel is just by liking this video, because if you guys have watched it up until this point, it, it means you're, it means you've already supported me enough. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. I freaking love every single one of you guys. And that right there, um, I know I said we're gonna do a giveaway soon, and we are. I just purchased the website domain to this, so we're gonna be starting our new blog, thecreditsociety.com. A lot of things are still in the work, but I did purchase a couple extra posters in here. I've had it for, I, I would say like two weeks now I've actually had this, and I've been meaning to give a few of these away, but I have not yet just set up the rules and just how I wanted to do it and shipping these out, because I have like five of them in here, and. It's just a, it's just a thin poster, but uh, okay. There's a bunch in here. I, I hope you guys can see that there is a bunch in here. I don't want to crinkle any of this. I don't want to, <laughs> I will sign some of these and I will give some of these away. I'm not exactly sure the process of doing it, but I will post any updates in either my next YouTube video or the community tab or somewhere on my Instagram. But uh, this is pretty dope. Um, I don't know. I don't know if people want, I, I think it's cool. I'll, I'll write, you know what? I don't even know. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much, like always, for tuning by. I love every single one of you guys, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Peace. It is morning. Um, I'm actually making some breakfast right here. I got some oatmeal up in here. 
I'm about to make a smoothie and uh... So a lot of people ask me like, yo Brian, uh, what do you do for your diet? What do you do for your breakfast? And I'll just show you guys a simple breakfast that I've been doing pretty routinely. So here we go in this pantry. I've actually been using this this uh, protein powder here off of Amazon. This is uh, the Organic Garden of Life. Now, <clears throat> usually I don't take protein powder. Uh, I usually try to get my protein from the meals I take, but I realize I've been exercising just a little bit more lately and I do need the extra protein intake. And this has been a really good protein supplement to my diet. So this is what I do to add to it. Ugh. I love coconuts, uh, I love coconut milk, and I love coconut juice. I'll put like half in here, and then I'll put half in here too. Now the juice will make it a bit sweeter, and this is a little too thick. Okay, so I'll add some hemp heart seeds. I don't do marijuana, but I'll take some hemp heart seeds any day, man. I'll take some of that. We'll do uh, two scoops of this. And get my berries. A lot of berries. Mango, blueberry, raspberry, more blueberry. And uh, usually I, I get just about on the. Nice. Up.